Welcome to the channel, human. I trust David Zaslav to deliver some great stuff when it comes to DC. He's already cleaning up these shows and movies that are trash. And DC has wonderful characters and storylines. They have great characters. Their characters and storylines are better than the Marvel characters and storylines. I love both brands. I'm a bigger DC fan. And I know the ins and outs of both brands. I've read so many comics from Marvel and DC. And I am telling you that DC has better characters and stories. It's not even up for debate. Just keep in mind that before Marvel turned into this huge brand, it was DC that was running shit. Nobody gave a fuck about Marvel. Okay, let's, let's just be real about that. But the reason why Marvel is on top is because there is a consistency in terms of the MCU, them putting out movies and shows, they got the Disney Plus stuff. There's an appreciation and respect for the brand, so much so that the fans are willing to gloss over mistakes and them ruining characters and storylines, and they're collectively making excuses when the MCU fucks shit up. So when you can have a fan base like that, that's how you know your brand is on point. So the Marvel dick riding is real. And look, I'm a Marvel fan. I've been one since I was a kid. I'm a bigger DC fan. But if you have a Marvel fan that tells you that Marvel characters and stories are better than DC and they have not read DC comics, tell that person, tell that goofy motherfucker to shut the fuck up and sit down because they don't know what they're talking about. And watching movies doesn't count. Going on Google doesn't count. Going on YouTube, watching a 10-minute video does not count. We're talking about individuals who have spent years reading DC characters, all the ins and outs, and not just randomly a Justice League comic so they can act like they read DC. Not, none of that shit. So anyone who has read DC and Marvel, they can tell you that DC is better, even if they don't like DC, if they're going to be objective about it. Because there's always going to be some bias, motherfuckers. But I'm telling you, DC characters and stories are better than Marvel's. Even though Marvel has some cool shit. But it's just DC, when you're talking about the Golden Age, the Silver Age, and the Bronze Age, man, get the fuck out their way. Period. So you need somebody over there uh, that's doing stuff at, you know, WB Discovery. You need somebody over there like De David Zasloff, which I believe... You know, he's going to get things in order. It's headed in the right direction. You need individuals over there that are passionate about DC characters, that love and respect them, and they're going to be firing on all cylinders. You need that, and you need that consistency. You know, they're, the shows and movies, they need to be coming out, and they need to be top tier. Enough of this bullshit. You, you got to do it, and they got to consistently be great. They've already uh, delivered masterpieces here and there. It's all about consistency. You know, focus on quality. And DC does have the quality characters and storylines. All you have to do is trans uh, translate it. That's it. If you can translate it, then you'll be fine. But if you don't, then Marvel is just going to just stay at the top. But to me, I feel like even though DC doesn't have a lot of the same consistency as Marvel... They do win from time to time. It's just that humans don't like to acknowledge it because it's not so much in your face as much as the MCU. And even like the Sony stuff, even though they've been fucking up with the Spider-Man based stuff, having all these, uh, you know, like films like Venom and Morbius. They're having all these Spider-Man based movies without Spider-Man. You got some clowns working over there at Sony. So it's not about agenda and politics. You don't need to change these characters. You don't need to change their sexual orientation, their race, their gender. You just need to do them as they already are in their prime in DC Comics. That's all you have to do. Translate the goddamn stories. It's simple. And I think David Zasloff, he is thinking in a certain way. And while some humans are unsure, I truly believe that he is going to take DC in the right direction. He talking about he got this eight, 10 year plan. That's good. I can't wait to hear some announcements and see what's really going on. You know, that way we can get an idea of what this man is thinking, who he's going to hire, all this stuff. The future for DC looks very bright. And if they get all their ducks in a row, 
they are going to crush the shit out of Marvel. We're talking about it'll be like them holding a cracker in their hand. And that cracker represents Marvel and they just crush that shit and it's done. I'm just like, you not messing with DC characters when they shit is on point. You will get your shit wrecked. But again, the DC characters and storylines have to be on point. And if they're on point, get out their way. Because you're not going to last when DC characters are doing their thing. Terrence out.